All right. Uh, I'm now live. Welcome. I got to turn my light back on. All right, there we are. Welcome, this is Ben at My Nice Headquarters. It's really just my office on the second floor of my home. Um, and welcome to my beard. Yes, yes, it's been growing. I made the mistake this morning after getting out of the shower, I kind of like poofed it out. <laughs> and um, then I left it and let it dry like that. I then later on went back to like try to bat it down and I'm realizing it does not go down after you make that kind of a mistake. So I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to kind of put in some beard oil and beard balm and comb it through and maybe I can tame it. But for today, it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit uh, Einstein-y on the chin, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys a hopefully an inspirational thought. Um, this quote really sticks out to me. Let me see if I can switch this around. It's a quote from Napoleon Hill. The majority of men meet failure because of their lack of persistence in creating new plans to take the place of those which fail. Napoleon Hill. If I had to just choose a quote for my last two weeks, I could not think of a better quote than that. A couple weeks ago, we launched the first big interview for My Nice Tie with Gentry. And, uh, and it's, you know, it went really well. The interview was great. We asked several, several questions of them. They, they kind of opened up and shared their best wisdom tips and their, their best advice. And we, we address a number of topics like uh, what led to their success, what are the values that led the, the, to their success, um, how they compete in an industry that doesn't necessarily promote gentlemen, and in other words, the music industry. Very fascinating interview. Um, it was the first that we've ever done. And so uh, we, so we posted that, I, I'm getting distracted, sorry, by by comments. Hey, Logan, welcome to the, the live stream. Um, so anyways, we posted that interview and you guys probably know that, right? You probably saw it in the feed. Maybe you watched it. Maybe you didn't watch it. But what you don't know is that I actually promised Gentry 5,000 views. And I didn't know how many views it would get. Right now, um, it looks like we're, let me show you this. this. Here's the interview we launched. Right now, it looks like we're at 644 views. Uh, that's a little bit less than 5,000. And so, you know, as Napoleon Hill said, we got to create a new plan when, when one plan fails. So we... Basically, what I did next was I was like, well, I could spend money on YouTube ads or Facebook ads, uh, but what if I just took that same money and gave it to you, my subscribers, in the form of a giveaway? So I set up the giveaway. I, I had to get like terms and conditions written and uh, determined that I was going to give away 10 free ties. And we launched that giveaway. It's now been 13 days ago. And to this point, we still only have three people who've signed up. And, and they have nine entries. So of those three people, several of them will probably get multiple free ties unless more people go to the blog and sign up. Greetings from Ephesus, Turkey. Woo, yeah. But live in London. Welcome, welcome. Um, anyways, so, uh, so, in other words, that's another failure. Malcolm, go grab one of those free ties, man. Sign up at MyNiceTie.com. Anyways, so that's the bad news. Almost two weeks. Apparently, you guys don't like giveaways because there's 10 free ties waiting to be claimed. Uh, 
on, on our blog at MyNiceTie.com. But that's okay. One, these small failures will hopefully lead to success. And so that's what this is, this live stream. It's, uh, it's my last ditch effort to save the giveaway. It's my last ditch effort to save the interview, which like I said, needs, uh, needs uh, 5,000 views. And this is my continued effort to push towards our new goal at My Nice Tie, our new mission, which let me show you this. Uh, you can see this on the blog. It's called The Last Hope Project. And it's all about the symbol of a necktie. Neckties are a symbol for success. Neckties are a symbol for leadership. And so we're going to use that symbol of the necktie to promote the values that lead to success. That's what the Gentry interview was all about. Um, and that's what, uh, that's what our future mission at My Nice Tie is, to help you look your best and become your best. Look your best and become your best. That's what it's all about here at My Nice Tie. So that's why I began with that quote from Napoleon Hill. Let me show you it again. The majority of men meet with failure because of their lack of persistence in creating new plans to take the place of those which fell by Napoleon Hill. If you haven't read his book, it's been maybe 15, 7, 16 years since I read it, Think and Grow Rich. Very good book. Um, I'm, I don't subscribe to the whole theory that like the universe just rains down anything you desire. Um, although it does seem to do that, I think it's just the way that God created us. He created this world so that we could have a place where we could pursue our dreams. If you think about how far humankind has been able to come in only the past hundred years, it's quite mind-blowing. And I think part of it is that we've had a hundred year span of relative peace. Um, well, that's not true because there was, <laughs> there was world war. But I mean, that even makes the point more clear. It's really only been like 70 years of relative peace throughout the world. And we went from horse and buggy to Tesla automatic driving cars. Like that is a ton of productivity gains. That's a ton of, of, of technology advances. And that's like the least cool thing that we've done. Another statistic that I heard recently was in 1860, what percentage of people lived in poverty? I think it's extreme poverty. There's a certain uh, qualification for the poverty. In 1860, 90 something percent, it was like 94% of people lived in extreme poverty. Fast forward now 140 years, only 14% of people live in extreme poverty. That's what freedom can do. That's what the principles of success can do. It can bring our world out of, of poverty and into the light and into happiness and into success. That's what My Nice Tie is all about. How do we do that? How do we continue that? How do we keep uh, relative peace in the world or promote peace? And... Um, and, and so anyways, I don't know how I got on that topic. I think it started at Napoleon Hill. He wrote a great book called Think and Grow Rich. Definitely recommend it. Um, I don't subscribe to everything he said, but I do describe to a lot. Um, Malcolm says that's not an accurate piece of data. I'm almost positive that's accurate. From 1860 to today, extreme poverty. Now, you have to define extreme poverty. I'd have to look it up. Um, where did I hear that statistic originally? It was, uh, where was it? Um, I'll look it up, Malcolm, and I'll post it in the comments, uh, the, the source for that. But, but yet, the, anyways, I'm getting distracted by that. But the, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, great book uh, for success. And like I said, it's all about looking your best and becoming your best, 
looking your best and becoming your best. Today I'm wearing a suit from Men's Warehouse. I don't actually recommend Men's Warehouse anymore, but this is a quite a nice suit I got from there. These days I recommend Indochino. If you want a good suit, custom fit, check it out, Indochino. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I wish I was. I, I, if you know somebody at Indochino, send them my way. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so this suit is from Indochino. This lapel pin is an example of the lapel pins that we'll be coming out with in the future. We're going to come out with lapel pins that represent the values, principles, and attributes of success. This uh, pocket square is also similar to the uh, future pocket squares we'll be making. All of this stuff will be related to the values, principles, and attributes of success. The way I see my nice tie going forward is we're kind of like the, the Patagonia for values and principles of success and freedom. That's what my nice tie is. Uh, what Patagonia is to climb is to world world stewardship and helping uh, prevent climate change and being a good steward of the earth. That's what kind of Patagonia's mission is. We're kind of that same thing. My nice tie is that same thing, but for values, principles, and attributes that made America successful and. This live stream is actually kind of crazy because people keep commenting and, and, and it distracts me a little bit, but maybe that's part of, of the game. But yes, so the, my nice tie is the Patagonia of values, principles, and attributes of success. We'll be coming out with neckties, lapel pins, uh, pocket squares, and socks. My socks don't match that well, but uh, I didn't have any red that I wanted to throw on. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. If you have a minute, if you have a minute right now, and you want to help the Mission of My Nice Tie, check out our latest interview with Gentry. It's on, on our channel. Um, check, out, check out the uh, giveaway at MyNiceTie.com on our blog. And while you're there, buy a tie. Change the world. This has been Signing Out. How do I end this thing? There we go.